Well, there's mixed reaction to President Biden's order to pull U.S. troops out of Afghanistan. And tonight, we're hearing from a Mississippi veteran who served in Afghanistan. His reaction is a mix of relief, frustration, and a bit of cynicism. 12 News' Tao Ta has his story. Across the country, when the news broke that Biden would withdraw the remaining 2,500 U.S. troops from what's been labeled the forever war, veterans like Will Mobley are still taking in the news. I think it should happen yesterday. He is among the almost 800,000 U.S. troops who have served in Afghanistan since the end of 2001. As a specialist in the Army National Guard, he spent nine months there. He says among feelings of pride for serving his country, he questions the wisdom and integrity of those who promoted the long conflict in Afghanistan. The war bankrupted us. Mobley hopes President Biden will follow through with his words and says ultimately it's an end long overdue. I really wish we'd leave already. So I'm, I am excited that he's announcing it. Um, I really hope he goes through with it. I, I really, like, I'm all for it, 100%. Um, but I'm not holding my breath, to be honest. President Biden plans to start withdrawing the remaining 2,500 U.S. troops on May 1st, with all troops back by September 11, the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. I'm Tao Ta, 12 News. More reactions from Mississippi Congress, members of Congress. Second District Democrat Benny Thompson says, quote, I support the president's statement. I agree that our troops have been in Afghanistan for too long and the goals of our nation set to accomplish have been militarily achieved. A fourth district congressman Stephen Palazzo among those opposed saying, quote, the withdrawal of U.S. forces in Afghanistan must be strategic. Instead, President Biden's decision to pull forces out of the country on the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks is purely political. Adding, this action will not only return control of the Taliban, but allows neighboring Russia, China, and Iran to influence and destabilize the region. He recommends finding a more strategic way to pull troops out without hurting American interest in the region, end quote.